Look at them cruising. Sorry, sorry. Oh, look at him go, look at him go. Oh my god, there's so much life. I need some channel locks. Key is to determine if they're ciliates or flagellates. This high flagellate is good, high ciliate is not. So you gotta look for the legs on the guys. Although well, these do look like ciliates just because of their size and their mobility. But the biodiversity in there is also good. They're kind of all up on the edge. There's a nematode. Oh, there's a big nematode. And the key with the nematodes is to look at their mouth to determine what they're eating. This one looks like a predatory from its just ginormous size. This structure. It looks like there's other nematodes inside this nematode, so it's probably eating other ones. So even predatory nematode, which is like a... Can we get a look? Yeah. Predatory nematode is also the size of a um, Yeah, look at the size of that nematode. Oh my god. So, he, you know, a nematode that size is like a sign of highly evolved um, biological structure in there. Yeah, you see how big he is snaking around? And this is only at a hundred times magnification. You can even see this, that ciliate action above him. Now, although it might be a flagellate, I don't know. It's hard to tell. But it still seems like a healthy ecosystem to me. I don't know. It's definitely biologically active. You know, we haven't seen nematodes like that before, have we? No. So this is what, five days brewing? Six days brewing? Yeah. It's amazing how fast biology. There's a. Oh no, that's still a flagellate. There's a ciliate. But... Flagellates are, are. are um, they're not healthy. No, cili flagellates are. Ciliates are the guys you gotta watch out for. Like, uh, here we go. Cruise around. There's a bunch of. You see how they're all against the edge of the slide? Huge concentrations of them all balling up there. Wow. 
Well, they're, that's because they're against the edge of the slide and they're choking. They're like, ah, oh, let us out, let us out, we want air. Um, but yeah, when you get a real biologically active thing, you'll, the edge of your slide will always be the most exciting, especially the longer you leave it there. It's not uh, very focused right now. Yeah, is that a chunk of fungus? No, it's an air bubble. Hmm. Um, where are we? Thing up there, that long strand, is a fungus there. Nice area for me there, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a fungus. They're right, they're usually all broken up like that because the time by the time we get the sample out there, we just crush their world. They're just like, why? <laughs> one the bottom and then if I scroll up just a little bit there's another one what's the black ring that's a bowl that's a air bowl that he's next to <laughs> can you go in the air bowl no it's too much uh, the pressure differential is huge wow, wow, wow. what are all those guys protozoa uh, cilia flagellants I don't know Higher order, yeah, you call them protozoa. There's a huge chunk of them near this air bubble. They're like, oh, wow. Look at them attacking whatever that thing was. Eating that thing in front of them. Oh, there's more nematodes. Look at them. Nematode soup, bro. I can't see good enough what he is. This is so cool. Uh. Yeah, they're all up on this edge. Dude. There you go. Look at that, all up on this edge. And they're eating these bigger guys. You see how those bigger guys are getting eaten Whoa. by the smaller guys? So maybe those are ciliates eating a flagellate, is what we're seeing, maybe. And as we restrict the oxygen content, the flagellate's having a harder time, and the ciliates are just starting to eat them. But you saw that, how they just took chunks out of that fucker. I mean, that piece of biology. Sorry, children. Yeah, these bigger guys. These bigger guys look like they're having trouble, yeah? You see how they're all getting eaten? The little guys, these little guys. They must be ciliates, dude. They're taking over. Especially as we cut off. Kind of splashing everywhere.
Yeah. Yeah, just put plenty of chunks of that in too. Yeah, there's tons of nematodes in that. Is that your pee in that bottle? What's that? Is that your pee? What is it? The of the water looks totally different on camera. It's slowed down so you can see all the droplets. be a vortex with the, with the pump submerged in the water. Because it's just blocking it. Yeah. You gotta get it hanging up out of the water. Yeah, but it has to have that air left pump. I mean, you have to suck yeah, so, it so, I mean, that's why exactly. the other vortex works. Exactly. Yeah, but anyway, just fasten this on. I need a, I need a crescent wrench to throw up. Know, whatever that big wrench to like get this actually on tight because it's still leaking but this will be the crystal tea brewer the crystals will be in here hit water splash out and then it'll go through this hose which then i can send over to the robot and back into the tank that it's airlifting out of mm -hmm. 